This is really old. It's got a cassette player and everything. Does anyone listen to cassette tapes anymore? It must be something she had as a child. Ouch. Those heels look like they'd hurt. Yes, they do. And if there's anyone out here, out there, who wears heels, listening to this, stop wearing heels. They're stupid. Don't do that to yourself. They're just, they're stupid. Just don't, don't, don't do that. Dude, just, 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 just don't wear them. Just don't, don't wear the heels. They're not worth it. I don't know what the hell that was, but seriously, don't wear heels. They're stupid. Um, note, note, note. I don't understand how that's relevant to anything. Elaine Appleton was Jamie's English professor. Mine too, oddly enough. Why is that odd? A professor teaching for a long period of time at a college? That's not exactly rare. If there's a connection... Neither do I. All right. So it was it was a steal. Besides, looks like a poster for a band called. I've heard of those. Is that the password? Maybe epileptic fish. Epileptic fish. I'm spelling that correctly, aren't I? Looks like a poster for a band called. Yep. I've heard. Hmm. Ouch. This is real. Does anyone listen? We don't need- it's full of makeup. I guess that's- It says, remember Waterloo. Okay, well maybe I speak to Elaine? Elaine Appleton? And find the name of- Jamie's dog or something? I don't know. I don't know. Appleton. Appleton. There we go. Wait, new phone number. How do I call her? Oh, right. I remember how to use my phone. Creative writing. Hey, E. Appleton. How you doing? What's up? What's up, Elaine? Hello. Hi, hey. is this Elaine Appleton? That's me. Who's this? Rosangela Blackwell. I was in your class around ten years ago. Rosangela, yes, yes, of course I remember you. It's been a long time. I saw you had a book published, is that right? Something like that. Do you have a few minutes? Sure, sure. What can I help you with? I'm surprised she remembers me. Well, I mean, remembers her. Rosa, uh, did she make an impression? I want to suss this out. Let's get some background here. I'm surprised you remember me after all this time. Well, it was my first year as a professor, and you did stand out. Mm -hmm. I did? The coffee? The cup you spilled all over my desk? <laughs> oh, God. I completely <laughs> forgot about that. Oh, Rosa. I didn't. I had to let those papers dry out all night. Oh, well, at least she was remembered, huh? Even if she's remembered for spilling coffee. I wanted to ask about a student of yours, Jamie Graham. Oh, her, yes. So tragic what happened. Tragic? You mean you don't know? She died just last week. I, no, no, I didn't. Oh, well, I'm sorry to be the one to tell you. Did you know her well? No, not really. But could I ask you some questions about her? I'm not sure what I can tell you that I already didn't tell the police, but go ahead. All right. Oh, she like? What can you tell me about Jamie? I hate to speak ill of her, but she was a disappointment. Oh. How so? At first, she was very keen about her work. She was a brilliant writer, but that brilliance soon faded. By midterm, she'd show up for class late and hung over, and when she showed up at all. And as for what she was wearing, well... Let's just say it wasn't appropriate. I wonder what happened to her. What made her brilliant? She had a way of infecting you with her passion. When she loved something, she could make you love it too. 
She had a keen interest in Middle Eastern history, so it was no surprise that most of her work had Middle Eastern themes to them. But as I said, that faded with time. She stopped having a passion for much of anything, I think. Such a waste. You said she faded. What do you think happened to her? I don't know. I wish I did. At the time, I figured it was the typical story. Young, sheltered girl comes to the city and gets overwhelmed with the freedom of it all. Most adjust fine. Some, well, don't. I could tell she was troubled, but I learned long ago that it isn't my place to reach out. I remember you being a bit closed off once upon a time. Yes, well, we all change. What was wrong with her clothes? I'm no prude, but what she was wearing should stay in Munray's where it belongs. Munray's? It's a nightclub. It's a popular hangout for the students here. You don't say. And Jamie went there. She wore their t-shirts, so I'd assume yes. Although it was more like a half a shirt. <laughs> I think I have an address, right? Munray's? Better write it down. There we go. I can oogle it. How did Jamie die? I'm not sure. No foul play, if that's what you're asking. It was a clot in the brain or something like that. Hmm. Really? That's what the police said anyway. I suspect it was Gavin. Tell me about Munray's. So what is Munray's like? I wouldn't know. My clubbing days are long gone. I just embarrass myself. That's who I'm talking to right now. Yes, I know. I wanted to know more about her. That's who I'm t Have you ever heard of STP? I'm afraid not. Hmm. Damn it. Does the name Tiffany Walters mean anything to um, No, I don't know anyone. Didn't think so. How about Gavin? Have you ever heard of a man named Gavin? Gavin? Can't say I know any Gavins. Alright, I think we're done here. Do you know a guy named... The police. Hmm? Why were the police involved? If she died by natural causes, why Good involve question. them? I wondered the same thing myself. The detective, a man named Durkin, I believe, wasn't very forthcoming. All right, well, we've got some good leads. I should get going. Are you still in the city? We should have coffee sometime. Oh, uh, sure. I'm a bit wrapped up in the story, but maybe after? Sure, sure. You take care. <laughs> coffee. Who has coffee? I'll have tea, thank you very much. That's what I'm drinking right now, in fact. Although it's not a warm tea. It's not the uh, Irish breakfast tea I usually have. There's something in my cup. There we go. But a cold tea. And it's freaking delicious. Mm. Okay, uh, Munray. Oogle, oogle, oogle. God, that's so uncomfortable to say. Oogle. Oogle. Oogle, oogle. Oh, God. I feel like I'm tying my tongue in a knot when I say it. Address, please. Yay. What the hell? There's Tomo again. DJ Tomo. All those emails about, like, tech services that say Tomo. Who the freaking hell is Tomo? If anyone out there knows who Tomo is, let me know. There's a reward. The reward is my gratitude. Off we go. Did you stay there? Aw. Aw, oh, yeah. A $20 cover for this dump? You got robbed. What? I said you got robbed. I look like a slob? No. Well, yes, kind of. Ah, just forget it. <laughs> Whoops, I clicked out of the game. Look, it's the VIP lounge. All my homeboys in the VIP. Listen to this shit. What, you actually expected me to say something after that? 
When you say, when I say listen, you actually expect me to say something? After that, that's strange. Why would you expect that? Pfft. Hey, group. Speakers. These are placed all over the club. Hey, I've got an idea. Joey, go next to the speakers and fuck them up. Make this goddamn loud music stop. Go forth. What do you want me to do? One thing's for sure. These aren't broken. No, they are not. Not blowing sure it. what blowing on that will achieve. Just stand, stand next to it. Damn it! Can't do some sort. All right, let's talk to this random group. I kind of look like the odd person out, don't I? Trying to fit in. They look pretty engrossed, whoever they are. Let's make an ass of. Well, not myself, but let's make an ass of Rosa. Hi. Hi? They're ignoring me. Awkward. Looks like it goes to an upstairs lounge. Vip. Looks like some kind of flat screen panel. Hmm. Like an LCD? Uh... Am I... Am I supposed to type something in? Is this part of a puzzle or is this just for fun? Because I have no idea what kind of songs they have. Hmm. Drunk guy! How you doing, man? Hi. Um... He's just looking at me funny. I guess he doesn't want to talk to me. Hmm. People aren't very friendly here. Boom, 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 Boom 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 I can't read the labels, but it looks like decent stuff to me. Well there's about like twenty seconds of music to the song and then it's just repeated over and over and over and over. Extreme repetition! Excuse me, could I ask... Hello? Ow, hey, watch the arm! Um, yeah, that's not gonna work. Didn't think so. Looks like the bartender. Hi! Hi, got a sec? Hello? She's serving a bunch of customers on the other side. I can't get her attention. Alright, we gotta pull something. Joey, do something, man. Do one thing's for How about this? Yes. Oh, hi, Jamie. Boom, 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 boom. It says this room is off limits, but I think that only applies to living people. Jamie, you're Jamie over here, am I, aren't you? Do I know you? Nope. Not yet, but I hope to change that. You think so, huh? Anyway, I'm Joey. Uh-huh. Whoa, that's a lot of options. Underage. Uh, yeah, let's not ask that. Ow, that hurts my throat. Interesting music, yes. Let's see if we can get some names from her so I can maybe look up a different song on that thing. Interesting music, huh? It's alright. That, that's it? Alright. Come here often. That's a little overused. So, what brings you here? It's a place, place to, go, to go, right? Yes. It's a place, I'll give it that. 
Are you alone here tonight? That's a crime. Whatever. I'm here with friends. Really? Friends, huh? They'll be here any minute. Well, in the meantime, how about we get to know each other? How about not? Fine. You come here often? Don't think I've seen you before. Maybe you have, but I know I've never seen you. Hey? I wouldn't forget a Rat Pack reject like you. What's up with that, anyway? <laughs> reject? I'll have you know, this fabric is top of the line. Oh, what she got you, Joey. Care to dance? Whatever. No, this music sucks. Alright, we gotta change the music, but I need a song name. Why are you being like this? You barely know me. Please, I've already got a dog back home. What's his name? Hey, now that's a bit uncalled for. His name is Benji. Yes. If you like him, you've got a lot in common. Benji. 